my name is Ariel like the mermaid. One thing that I notice a lot of people in our generation, or at least my generation, talk about, it's haters. Haters. People who hate. Uh, and a lot of times celebrities talk about the haters and uh, even uh, also just like YouTube personalities and, and other kind of social media personalities um, often talk about the haters and, you know, say fuck the haters, right? You know, because fuck them. They're, you know, people who hate are, are bad because they hate. And they're hateful. Um, but I think what's interesting is, um, especially when we're talking about people who have, um, uh, people like me who do th similar things with the vlogging but probably have more people who actually listen to their uh, stuff than I do, um, uh, and things like that, and just anybody who's putting themselves out there, whether it's in art or whether it's in just some kind of expression, like where they talk at a camera like I do, um, or whatever, um, uh, I think it's interesting when they refer to people who don't like their stuff or don't like what they say um, as haters. And it's, it's interesting, who are we categorizing as haters? Because, um, <laughs> I mean, there's certainly, um, I can tell you, there's um, every now and then, not too often because I don't really get too many uh, comments, I get enough comments that I can read every single comment. So, by the way, if anybody's going to be posting a comment on this video, um, chances are I'm going to see your comment and I'm going to read your comment. So keep that in mind if you are going to write a, a not-so-nice comment. I'm going to read it, um, and there's a good chance if I feel like it's worth replying to, I'm going to reply to it. Um, uh, I mean, some people don't really care because there's a lot of people on the internet who don't really give a shit about how people feel because they're uh, either, either they're, they're um, Either they just aren't really capable of feeling empathy or just the, the fact that it's the internet and that they, they, they feel like they're just, you know, talking to nobody because they are entering text. You know, it doesn't really allow them to feel empathy for the person that they're directing their hateful comments towards. Um, but anyways, I went on a huge rant that didn't really have to do with the topic of um, the video. Anyways, it's about the haters. Um, I think what's interesting is who are these people referring to as haters? Um, and uh, again, I, as I was <laughs> trying to say before, I went on a whole rant about something that didn't have to do with what my video is about. Um, <laughs> yes, I think I, I get comments that I consider hateful. Uh, and those comments <clears throat> include things like, and warning to anybody watching this, I'm about to say things that are not so nice. Um, that's putting it a little bit lightly, because <laughs> I'm just I just want to be honest about what's sometimes the more hateful things I get. Um, get things calling me faggot and tranny, and um, sometimes things kind of verging on kind of death ready things. Um, not too many of those, but a little bit, and just general not nice things. Um, uh, a lot of misgendering, a lot of <clears throat> not so nice stuff. Um, that I would consider hateful. Uh, however, I think we have to be careful about, um, and I try to be careful about labeling, just labeling something as hateful um, when it's someone just kind of expressing their opinion and it's different from mine or criticizing um, what I'm saying or criticizing um, a, a way I articulate in a point. Um, I think as like a content creator of any kind, I think that it's important to be able to not just dismiss any kind of criticism as just being from the haters and just being like, ah, fuck the haters, whatever, haters gonna hate, or whatever. Um, sometimes I think you have to, I mean, you know, and it's, um, just stuff that's, like, not even constructive at all and is just blatantly hurtful stuff. Um, I mean, yeah, well, you know, fuck those haters, they, 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 they suck. But at the same time, I think if you just label anything that is criticizing you. Particularly, I mean, um, a lot of people on YouTube make funny videos and stuff. Um, and I think a lot of people have this notion that, that a comedy can't be criticized, because it's like, oh, it's just a joke. But I say that's, that's completely not true. I think that um, your comedy uh, can grow and can develop and you can create more interesting comedy that isn't just stuff that everyone else is saying. Um, if you um, listen to people's criticism, and you kind of try to grow from that criticism. Um, and I think that's very true with someone, anyone who's doing anything like I do right now, um, where you're just talking about ideas, and we're discussing ideas. Um, I think it's easy if someone 
has a different idea than you, um, and they're criticizing your idea, maybe they're not doing it in a very respectful way. You know, like, there are definitely have been people who maybe have even had, like, some kind of valid points or are worth having a discussion with, but um, didn't do it in a very respectful way. But sometimes I have discussions with the, these people, and I think we realize that we aren't quite as on a different page as they might be initially thought. Um, but I think, again, I think even if it's things that we really don't like, um, like there's some people who, you know, comment on my videos that I totally don't agree with, and I completely, and I, I would even go as far as to say that they're, what they're saying is transphobic, or that it's homophobic, or that it's just in general bigoted. Um, but I'm careful about just dismissing that person as a hater, because sometimes these people, believe it or not, even though they have bigoted opinions, um, that I think are totally not valid, and I totally deserve to be criticized, um, some of these people aren't completely stupid. Not, not all bigots are actually that stupid. I mean, even if they have um, opinions that aren't, I certainly wouldn't consider intelligent, um, sometimes these people um, aren't as unintelligent as one might expect, and they actually, um, and, and these kind of people um, who are actually capable of critical thinking are the kind of people that you don't necessarily want to just completely dismiss because they actually, you might actually be able to reach them, they might actually be able to um, understand your point and actually question their bigoted views. Um, that's not to say that it excuses their bigoted views or that it excuses their bigoted behavior, but uh, it, it, I, I think my main point is, I mean, obviously, I think if you're any kind of content creator, you certainly don't have an obligation to have a dialogue with everybody. Um, and you don't even, you know, sometimes if something um, is bothering you, um, yeah, I mean, in, you know, I mean, the thing with YouTube is <laughs> if you're posting YouTube vid videos on YouTube, um, if you want to delete people's comments, that's, that's your, um, that's your choice, um, and uh, you, you can delete any kind of comments you want um, based on anything, you know, because that's it's your video. You can choose what comments get to show. I generally don't. I generally try not to. I think I've really only had one incident where I've um, had to delete a lot of a person's comments because they started off just the typical kind of um, bigoted stuff, but then they, they started being weird and um, bringing in confusing things and just random things in uh, into the comments that I think were just confusing people and um, were clearly just meant in a mocking way and I think was were causing and then they were actually interacting with other people. I think we're, a big place where I draw the line is when it, it's one thing if they're writing hurtful comments towards me but I generally if I see that there's a person on my channel who's directing stuff towards other people and I think that, that, that might be, and are saying things that might be harmful to another person, um, I, that, that's where I really don't have that much tolerance. And I will, I will remove you. You're, you're, you, I will ban you from, my, uh, from commenting on any of my videos um, if you do that kind of, if I see that kind of behavior, I generally am going to just ban you completely. If people are having a dialogue with each other, that's another thing, but a lot of times, if, it, if, it's, if it's hurtful kinds of um, uh, comments towards other people is generally where I draw the line, and where other people draw the line is, that's kind of up to them. Um, but I, I, again, I think, I think it's important not to completely, um, because I mean, chances are, if you post any kind of content out, on the internet or just on anything, if you make any kind of content available, um, it, you know, especially like as an artist, um, there's going to be people, people are going to criticize it. You know, people are going to have opinions about it. People are going to, and sometimes you're going to really disagree with those opinions. And sometimes those opinions are going to really make you feel uncomfortable and make you uh, feel maybe angry and, and make you um, doubt yourself and doubt your work. Um, but I think. I think it's, it's, people should be careful about just merely um, dismissing people who criticize your work as haters, you know? Um, I know that there was like this, um, there, there, there's this uh, YouTuber that I used to uh, watch a lot of um, his videos, and I think he was one of those one, kind of, that was uh, championing the, the kind of fuck the haters mentality. Um, his name was uh, Shane Dawson. <clears throat> And um, uh, 
I mean, and I don't know, I haven't, again, I haven't seen his videos in a long time. Uh, all I know is that he recently apologized, because he used to do a lot of videos uh, with blackface, um, and now he recently apologized uh, because he actually took the time to read what a lot of people were writing about it, um, and etc. Um, and, and I watched the apology, and it seemed sincere, um, etc. I mean, I just haven't, recently I haven't really been into watching that much Shane, I haven't really been watching Shane Dawson, just because I kind of, it, now it's not really a, a style of humor that I particularly enjoy. I, at one point, I really enjoyed um, his videos, um, and you know, uh, anyway, <laughs> the, the point isn't about Shane Dawson. Uh, the, the point, I'm using Shane Dawson to make a point. Um, the point is, I think, um, and I think for a long time he did, and he talks about this in the apology video, um, for a long time he just dismissed people who would criticize him and who would um, claim that he was being racist in his videos. Um, he would, he would kind of dismiss them as uh, being uh, just haters uh, and, you know, just kind of hating on him. Um, but I think what can be learned from that kind of a thing is it, it's sometimes it's good to listen to the criticism. And if you're getting a lot of criticism, a lot of times there's a reason for it. Maybe it's not a good reason. Maybe it's, it, maybe you're, you, the, the criticism you're receiving is unfair. Um, but I think it's good to listen to it sometimes because I think it's good to consider it and at least try to understand why people are hating on you and why people hating on you and why people are criticizing you. Um, because that's how you grow as an artist, that's how you grow as a person, that's how you grow um, as just any kind of content creator or just as any kind of person, is understanding um, sometimes there's going to be people who disagree with you, sometimes there's going to be people who don't like what you're doing. Um, and that doesn't always mean that you should stop what you're doing necessarily or necessarily that you have to change what you're doing all the time. But um, sometimes it's worth considering. Sometimes it's worth um, trying to understand uh, what the criticism is about. Um, particularly if it's something, sometimes if you wait too long to really um, uh, listen to these people who criticize you, I think sometimes, well, like, sometimes it can have consequences on your popularity, um, but more importantly, um, it allows you to keep on doing things um, that m may be offensive and may be hurtful um, that you don't even mean to be doing um, and you don't even want to be doing, um, it, it allows you to keep on doing that without even um, recognizing uh, like that you're doing it. And, and I think it's, I think you shouldn't completely shut out any other opinions that are different than yours. And that, that was just a random uh, a thought I had and I think that people should consider because um, I, I, I always I kind of hear the term that like people say, fuck the haters, and, and talk about the haters, and haters gonna hate a lot of times. Um, and you know, yeah, I mean, I think um, there's something about that. I mean, you know, you, you can't always, I mean, especially if you're creating art, you can't always be thinking about the people who are criticizing you and the people who um, don't like your stuff, because there's always going to be people who don't like your stuff. Like, that, that just happens. It, it, even if you make really good stuff, um, that really shouldn't be offensive or shouldn't be objectionable. There are going to be people who hate it, and there may be people who take something the wrong way, particularly with humor. Um, but I, I think I think you have to be able to own up to what you create, and own up to what you say. Um, and, and you know, even if sometimes, um, especially with things like that that, would, that people find offensive. Um, I mean, there's always like controversies, like particularly around things like Twitter, because Twitter is just it's just a creation that just is designed in a way that is guaranteed to cause controversy, especially if you uh, like to incorporate things like irony and wit uh, or any kind of humor. Um, not to say that some of these controversies aren't founded. A lot of them totally are founded. Um, but but the, the fact is 140 characters isn't very much. That's just the reality. <laughs> but anyways, um, you know, I, I, I think... Um, Constantly having the fuck the haters mentality, I think, is closing off um, criticism that can allow you to grow as an artist and as just a content creator or just anything. Um, I think it's just a good thing to be mindful about.